Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about um sorry about that. Um it looks like it's better for now. Um so let's hope it stays this way. I'm seeing no drop frames, the bitrate seems good. So welcome back to a brand new day of Road to DG World 2018. I know you guys on Twitch have already seen this. I'm gonna just run through the through the deck explanation really, really quickly. And uh, we'll play one more match with this deck so that I have something to upload to YouTube as well. And um, because you guys only didn't, um, also didn't get to enjoy a, a, de a decent quality game uh, because of so much lag. So hopefully this works. Um, the music seems okay. So JGB, thanks so much for the feedback. Wildman as well. Um, definitely better. I'm glad. And hello, Sir Pendage. Thank you so much for being here. So, really quickly, Zorak Weavile won Malmo Regionals. There was a mirror match in the final. Um, not the exact same 60, but just slightly different. Um, Weavile, a really good attacker. 90 HP, Icy Wind, not the main attack we're using, only deals 10 and puts the opponent's Pokemon to sleep, although it does give you a chance in like some tight situations. And Evil Admonition deals 50 damage for every Pokemon that your opponent has in play that has an ability. So Lele, Zoroarks, Lycanrocs, <coughs> Garbotoxin, um, what else? Eevees, Wimputs, <coughs> Zoroark, BKT, um, Regirock, Octillery, Oranguru, Volcanion, there are so many Pokemon with abilities right now that we've all just punishes um, people for playing them, which is uh, really good, obviously, for... It's really good for us. Um, so combined with Zorark, you get the consistency of Zorark that uh, trade brings by discarding a card and drawing two. You get Righteous Beating Damage, um, 20 for every Pokemon you have in play, 210 HP. And then you all, we also get to use Zorark from BKT with Stand-In and Mind Jack, dealing 10 plus 30 damage for every Pokemon on the bench. And we also get to use um, Zorak Break because we are now running Darkness Energy due to Weavile, so we get to use Foul Play to copy opponent's attacks. We also get to use Trickster GX as well, which I forgot to mention. So lots of versatility in this deck, lots and lots of options. Um, Coincidentally enough, speaking of versatility, we have MuX with its versatile ability <laughs> where um, we get to where we get to um, where we get to copy our attacks or our opponents, we get a psychic type and so we are able to deal with puzzle because this deck obviously has a major major fighting weakness. We get a Tapu Gogo for spreading, four free retreat shenanigans, and then three Tapu Lele for consistency. Now, supporters-wise, we have Triple Bridget, Triple and Triple Guzma, and the newcomer Triple Cynthia. Um, Cynthia is a new inclusion as well from the new set, which is really cool. And then we have four Ultra Ball, four Puzzle of Time, two Evo Sodas, three Choice Bands, two Field Blower, and a single Devoured Field. Now, Devoured Field, along with Professor Kukui, which I forgot to mention, they do allow us to reach for just a little bit extra damage with our Pokemon um, in combination. Um, they allow us to reach for 30 extra damage, and with Choice Band, we're increasing our damage output by potentially 60. So that's the reason those cards are there. Um, anytime your opponent tries to play around your attacks or your abilities by not benching too many things or by um, not playing enough Pokemon with abilities, you actually have a potential plus 60 boost to your regular attacks. And then finally, we have um, we have four DCs and four Darkness Energy. So let's jump into a ladder and see how this goes. Okay. So just one one more game, guys. It'll be the third one of the stream with this deck, uh, but the other two were the um, very poor quality. So far, we haven't dropped a single frame, which is actually impressive now. And from the looks of the chat, it seems good. Maybe just having Safari open at the same time was the issue. Maybe like if that fixes this, I'll be very very surprised. Um, Heracle knows you can ask me uh, in Spanish, and you can. Speaking Spanish, that's fine. Um, this is a bilingual channel. 
no worries. Chelsea, hello, thanks so much for being here, wearing a Chelsea shirt. <laughs> uh, today, Chelsea plays against Barcelona, and we have our third Tapulele start in a row, with a dead hand as well. With a dead hand as well. Hiruma, yep, that's exactly what I did in the <laughs> Empoleon video, that was pretty funny, I guess. Um, I'm glad the stream is better. And Wildman, what is the full art on the ladder? I have, I actually have no idea. Oh, uh, Skylinerist says Brock's great. Okay. What do you think of Volcanion in this meta? I think Volcanion has a lot of potential. It just got top eight at the biggest regional in history in Collinsville, the biggest standard regional in history at least. Um, so I do think it has potential. We've also seen the whole Kiawe list do consistently well as well. Um, so I think Volcanion definitely has a, has a good chance. Um, and I would recommend checking out uh, the Limitless TCG site to check out um, to check out Gustavo Wada's list. And okay, my opponent did not get a Bridget, but he got three basics. He also played the Floatstone, which we have now removed. So we get to end here. We give him extra cards, but we also need to set up ourselves. And yeah. <laughs> Looks like, um, oh, she looks like she's very grateful of what we did, and then we just pass here. <laughs> so, yeah, not ideal um, ending your opponent when they have three cards, but it happens. Ooh, gets another float zone. So, I assume this is going to be um, Zoropod with Lurantis that we saw um, take down Collinsville. Hopefully she ends us now in exchange for our generosity. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, why was Elizabeth Zorark so popular at St. Louis? Seth Bean, I believe it was very popular simply because... Um, simply because uh, there was a lot of hype for Garbodor variants. Um, it does well against Zorark Lycanroc. Like, like, it's even. It does well against Buzzwell as well. Um, the one energy attacks... Uh, means Gardevoir also struggles against it, so it had a lot going for it, I believe. It had a lot going for it. And yeah, come on Chelsea. Chelsea plays Barcelona today. Okay, I'm gonna try to do something on the... F on the. Okay, so if I look at my phone, it's because I'm reading the chat, okay guys? And nope, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh no, it does. Okay, so I can control things on my phone. That's cool. Um, okay, so it looks like my opponent... Will whiff on the Elizabeth? That would be nice for us. That would be very, very nice for us. Um, I might actually be tempted to double puzzle for the field blower, actually. Uh, but now my opponent has four Pokemon with abilities. So. I mean, that doesn't change much. Um, I can, however, knock out the Zerua. And I can bridge it, so I'm actually in a very decent position. And now I can get triple Zerua. Although I think Weavile will actually make a difference here. And Pixel Hungry, thank you so much for resubscribing. That's seven months. That's amazing. Seven months. That is so amazing. Okay, am I seeing this right? Both Weavals are prized? Wow. Okay, so no Weavile for us, I guess. We have an okay chance to get it here, though. Um, we have an okay-ish chance, um, and yeah, the stream seems to be really good, right? So maybe it was just having Safari open that was the issue. Um, the music is fine, no drop frames in over 10 minutes, that's pretty impressive. And there's the Weavile, okay. The Weavile there is pretty nice. So now we need my opponent, well, my opponent can respond to this by having double, by having Double colorless, choice band, and using the GX attack to get a knockout. Uh, but depending on who uh, she promotes, we could actually get a return KO with Sneasel, which would be nice. Uh, we would need a, a choice band though. We would need a really good Professor Kukui actually. And Heracli knows, in my opinion. What do I think of Puzzle Garbodor holds a Lazzle Garbodor against the new meta? <laughs> Thank you so much for the kind wishes. Puzzle Garb is obviously really good. Um, it just got second place at the biggest regional, biggest standard regional, so which is pretty impressive, of course. 
Um, I think it will stay very relevant as long as Zorak stays relevant in the meta as well. And then Hose, Alazel, Garbodor. I haven't tried that yet, um, but I do think it'll be pretty good as well. Um, I do think it will be pretty, pretty viable. Um, Ho Kiawa decks will 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 stay pretty strong, I think, um, with Zalazel or with Volcanion or with Garbodor. Um, not sure which one is better, but I do think they're a strong option. And what did I play at Oceana? Ooh, and there's a victory. Okay, so my opponent didn't get a choice band. Um, she really wanted to <laughs> to knock me out, and she immediately conceded. So, um, do I, do I, okay, you guys tell me in the chat, do I play Zoar Gribal just once more, or do we just jump into a different deck? You guys let me know. I feel like we haven't really showcased the deck. Yeah, I'll play another match. Never mind. I'll play it one more game. Um, Sector, I'm glad the stream is better. Uh, Sabine, in Oceana, I played Puzzle like Rock again, but I only went five wins and four losses. Uh, can I play the O Snap Earthquake deck? <laughs> um, I, I will play Empoleon um, eventually in the future, um, but not um, not right now. Probably not until after Costa Mesa Regionals. Um, okay. Opinion about Dustmane. Um, I really, I actually really like Dustmain. Uh, Dustmain was my second choice. Like Magnuson, Dustmain was my second choice, built in a Bikapulu fashion. Um, that was my second choice for the, for Collinsville. My first one was Espion Garbodor. Um, I think it does have potential. I generally think it should usually beat Zorg and Puzzle. Um, I mean. Obviously it didn't show up as much, but what do I discard here? The Mallow? Or the Cynthia? No, the Mallow and the Puzzle. And then I'll Lele for Bridget, and then my hand after that is pretty good. Um, I do like Dustmane. Uh, my list has changed quite a bit since the one I featured on on the live stream, uh, but I do think it's it's a pretty good... Um, it's a pretty good deck. Um, I feel like it's just people, like, we haven't achieved the best list possible. Um, or the most optimized list, rather. Um, I won't be attaching the DC, though. I don't want to risk a Floatstone DC, Lele, Knockout. Um, I don't want to risk a Promo Rockruff Strong Knockout on my DC. And Silvalli Gaming, you've been playing Greninja like crazy and you love it. Yeah, Greninja is also pretty good. Um, Greninja didn't show up at Collinsville in terms of numbers or uh, results. So that might decrease the amount of Giratina promo that gets played and therefore um, Greninja becomes viable again. And therefore Greninja becomes viable again. Okay. So yeah, it's really cool that I can see all the stats on on my phone. Okay. Okay, so it is Zorak Lycanroc, in fact. Um, I wouldn't decide to attach to the Zorua though, that's interesting. And I did top deck the Kuzma. So I have two options here. I can target down the energy, or I can just Cynthia and target down the Rockruff. Um, since I chose to evolve the benched, um, since I chose to evolve the bench Zorg, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna target down the Zorua. It also removes like one trade for my opponent, which is awesome. Um, I'll evolve the active. I'm gonna play. I'm committed to the Kuzma play anyways. I'm committed to the Kuzma play anyways, and okay. I won't be using Ultra Ball now though. So we're gonna Kuzma up the Zerua. Hopefully we will get some action though. Like I used this deck at my at the League Cup on Saturday and it was definitely underwhelming. It was definitely underwhelming. Um Greninja GX Oh yeah! I saw I saw the Greninja um, I saw the Greninja GX, that was pretty cool. Um 
It's like Crobat, right? Its attacks are, I think, underwhelming, but its ability is pretty decent. Um, especially with the water duplicates on um, Frogadier. So... Okay. So now... The Rockruff is a threat. Now we need another Kuzma. Maybe I should have taken down the active Rockruff. Okay. So what we want to do... My opponent has two Pokemon in play with abilities. So we do want to set up the Weavile knockout potentially with the Professor Kukui and the Choice Band in case I don't hit... Um, in case I don't hit the... Um, hmm, I could have also set up the Foul Play knockout. Um, ooh, I can... Yeah, I can also set up the Trickster GX knockout actually. So we have a ton of options here. We'll see which one works best um, after the triple trading. Um, no Guzma, fair. So I'll attach the darkness to Zork. I'll evolve the Weavile. And now Lele guarantees that we get the Kukui next turn. So now all we're missing is either Choice Band. Yeah, all we're missing is Choice Band, actually, so that we can copy Dangerous Rogue. Ooh, but my opponent decides to promote Lele. I wonder why that is. Okay, the hammer is annoying, but not that impactful. Um, Josh, you say Greninja was there, just not piloted by the top players. That's fair. Um, that can also be the case, definitely. Ooh, my opponent just completely whiffs this turn. My opponent just completely whiffs. Okay, so we're gonna... I mean, we're winning this game. Ooh, there's <laughs> Professor Kukui. We are going to win this game just based off of my opponent whiffing. Um... Pretty much based off of the fact that we went first. That's the reason we're gonna win here. Um, okay, so... No, okay. So we don't, we didn't even get the choice band. I guess I'll Kukui? I have three choice bands here. Nope, no Professor Kukui. I mean, no... Ugh. No knockout for us this turn. Which does give my opponent an extra turn to get the Lycan Rock. Um, we do have Puzzle, so we can get back the Professor Kukui. We're gonna have another double trade, potentially. So we do have options. There's the Acerola. Oh, is this what my opponent was going for? No, okay. Promotes his Zork. My opponent should have definitely traded first. That was a big mistake by my opponent. The opponent should have traded first, unless the two cards in his hand are super, super valuable. Or what's the plan here? N. Okay. That's fair. I don't see why you wouldn't promote the Rockruff, though. And he's gonna trade before the end. That makes no sense. That actually makes no The order in which my opponent did things makes zero sense. Ooh. Okay. Can we finally hit... Can we finally hit um, a Guzma now? Or double puzzle? Either of those works. Um, I'll discard the Lele. Yeah, he already played Acerola. That's That was my bad. Um, come on, double puzzle. Or Guzma. Where are these cards? Where are these cards? <laughs> are you serious? What is this? I can't even attack this turn. What? This is crazy. In my last 11 cards, there are two puzzles and two Guzmas potentially. I mean, I'm, I'm, at this point, I know I prized a ton, right? Just gonna Ultra Ball to find out. There's two puzzles. No, there's two puzzles and two Guzmas. So much trading and just. Impossible cards to get. Um, my opponent will be using N next turn, correct? So, I definitely feel like I should attach one choice band. Um, both choice bands, why not? And then I'll just Cynthia here. We do get less cards, that's fine. We are okay with that. Um, hello, Power Mouse, thanks so much for being here. Okay, there's the Guzma, there's the choice band now. <laughs> so now we pass. Um, Kike, 
Um, will I show my SPN garb list in some video or stream? Um, I, I wrote about it in my six prizes article, actually. Um, so you can check it out there. Um, that's where I, I put the list. I, eventually I'll make a video of it. I'm sure eventually I'll make a video of it, but it's definitely, it's not a priority and, um, usually I have to, like, it's important to save, um, things like that for six prizes subscribers. Um, so at least definitely not this week, maybe next week I'll feature it. Um. But I mean, it's also pretty basic, honestly. It's pretty, pretty basic. Um, there's nothing too special about it. Um, it's just consistent, that's it. Um, Sehbin, Buzzle Garb seems to be insanely powerful. I agree. Um, I wouldn't say insanely powerful, but it's pretty strong. Um, I don't think there's a clear best deck in the format though. Okay. So this is where my opponent gets rid of the Weavile and puts us in a tricky spot. Um, but we can still Trickster GX his um, Dangerous Rogue GX, although now it's pretty pointless actually. Um, thankfully I didn't discard any Weavile pieces. Ooh, please bench the Rockruff. If he benches the Rockruff, there we go. Okay, so now Trickster GX knocks out Lycanroc GX. That's what we're going for here. Because we don't need Kukui. So we can Kuzma. We need a Kuzma and a Darkness Energy. We have 14 cards left. We are going to see um, seven, at least seven of those. So we need Kuzma and a Dark. Kuzma and a Dark Energy, that's all we need. Ooh, and the double puzzle gets us exactly those two cards. But in order to not waste the double puzzle, we're just not gonna use them quite yet. We're gonna get rid of the Vard Field. We are going to get rid of this Zorg for now. And we are going to get rid of the Lele. Yeah, the Lele seems okay. Okay. So we don't, the one card we didn't hit is the Darkness, so we do have the Guzma. So I'm gonna double puzzle for Puzzle and the Darkness. There we go. If Lycanroc had 210 HP, we would have kept the Divard Field or we would have used um, the Choice Band. But we actually do not need to. And wow, the stream is flawless. Did I find, did I find the issue, guys? Did I really find the issue? Should I use Tapicure? <laughs> Dangerous Rogue GX. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lycanroc. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We get a Sneasel, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we are in a pretty good spot here. We are in a pretty, pretty good spot. Okay. So I have the chat here with me, guys, in case you wanna, in case you wanna say something. Um, there's an N. That's fine. We really don't mind that. I wouldn't mind setting up the Sneasel now. If I had Sneasel plus Wally, if I had Wally, that would be insane. <laughs> If I had Wally, that would be pretty insane. But yeah, my opponent is making the mistake of trading before using N. Like there's nothing he really wants right now, so you would N and then trade to give you more cards after the end. Um, yeah, it's cool to see the GX attack of Zoroark being used, I agree. Um, that definitely won me more games than Weavil at the League Cup this Saturday. Um, that definitely helped a ton. Okay, so maximum damage output. The Rockruff could be an issue. So let's think, what is the best way for me to win this match? Probably to target down the Rockruffs whilst trying to set up, um, whilst trying to set up uh, another Weavile potentially. Okay, 
So there's the potential Weavile. Except. Okay, my opponent will be forced to find a Cerola next turn. Or double puzzle rather, because he had also, he has already used a Cerola. Um And yeah, he can Guzma and heal in the same turn, which is bad for us. Okay. Can we find a Guzma or a puzzle? Nope. We do find the Weavile, however, which is now completely meaningless. Okay, I definitely want to retreat here, though. Definitely want to retreat and just attack with Zorg. And so... <clears throat> My opponent needs a bunch of cards, though. He needs Lycanroc, he needs DCE, he needs Double Puzzle to find a Zerola. And he would only be able, like, he would need to knock out Sneasel as well. That's the key here. He would 100% need to knock out Sneasel. So he needs Lycanroc, TCE, and Double Puzzle. Ooh, what? <laughs> what is that Lycanroc? That's the wrong Lycanroc, my man. That is the wrong Lycanroc. Crunch. That is the wrong Lycanroc. Do you think Glacian will see play in next tournaments? I do think so. Um, I do think Glacian will start seeing a little bit more play. Um, there was one list that made day two. Um, I don't think Glacian was played in big numbers, or I would assume Glacian wasn't played in big numbers. Uh, but yeah, this means my opponent can now, because he didn't go for the ability like on rock, my opponent can't heal and knock out Sneasel at the same time. Um, there's the hammer, there's the Cerola, uh, but we should be able to accomplish this should be able to accomplish this. Ooh, he decides to promote Zorg instead of removing my T well he's he got the hammer back I guess. He has four abilities though, so Wow, he didn't even play the hammer. What? Why would you get back the hammer and not play it? Okay, double puzzle gives us the win, right? My button has four Pokemon with abilities, so all we need to do is double puzzle. Finally Weavile will get an attack off. And, I mean, I guess it does matter. I guess it does matter, simply because... Um, simply because otherwise we would have struggled to get that last prize card. However, we would have had a different partner for... We would have had a different partner for... Oh, what? Oh, that Lycanroc! Oops. <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong Lycanroc. My opponent only has three Pokemon in play with abilities. Oops. <laughs> Oops, did I just throw the game? No, I didn't. Oh, uh, that was so silly. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not paying attention. I am not paying attention. That was very silly. Um, I get, now I need Kuzma. Kuzma DC. As long as my last DC is surprised. <laughs> Did I really just throw the game away? That was my bad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Um, I don't know why he didn't remove with the hammer. Um, uh, that was so silly of me. <clears throat> that was actually so silly. Okay, there's a DCE. So now I just need my Guzma. And I can see my hold back. Um, I do have a Guzma left, right? Or is it prized? It's gonna be prized, isn't it? It's gonna be prized. No, it's not. Oof. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I am actually really, really sorry for the <clears throat> for the mistake. Um, but yeah, we are okay here. We are okay. So yeah, um, the deck's good. I think. As we saw my opponent very smartly do, he played around Weavile and that was enough. Um, Weavile is just not that great and it's also very fragile. So even if Weavile is a threat, your opponent can just target it. So you really need to get two Sneasels down at the same time um, in order to make it very effective. Um, and so yeah guys, um, I will show the deck list as requested and moving on, um, <clears throat> unnecessary close game indeed. 
Um, so moving on, you guys have these decks to choose from. Puzzle Carpenter, Glacian Carpenter, Zoropod with Lorantis, or the Raichu. So let me know which one you guys want to see in the chat. I will show this um, really quickly for the people who are requesting it. And I will be right back, okay guys? Don't go anywhere, but please leave in the chat um, your comment on which deck you would like to see next. Be right back. <laughs> 